We're gonna make this short and sweet. Today we're taking a look at the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D leaked benchmarks. Now, all of these benchmarks are actually CPU intensive, nothing is regarding gaming, but this shows you what this CPU will deliver from the results. Yeah, so if it's not good at CPU stuff, it's definitely the gaming CPU you should be waiting for, because if it's not, what's AMD doing, you know? Anyways, without wasting any more time, press on that like button, subscribe, and take these things with a grain of salt, of course, and let's get to it. So the first thing that we're looking at, which is the Geekbench 5 uh, leaked benchmarks, and it shows that the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D is around 10 percent slower than the 7950x now the reason for that is that this cpu is actually better and when it comes to spec wise and let me explain why basically these 3d v cache models or this specific one is lower in tdp than the 7950x by around 50 watts so the 7950x 3d goes for around 120 watts so it's not an overclocked results you know and this is why it's actually slower but pretty much identical when it comes to the single core performance now is this a bad thing i wouldn't think so because this actually provides around the same performance of the 13900k that by the way right now it goes for 570 dollars and the trend continues when you look at other benchmarks like for example blender you know it's around the same results you know so slower than the 7950x but as the same as the 13900k since this is a 3 dv cache cpu it promises a really good gaming performance and the tdp itself is actually really cool i mean we're looking at 120 watts so this won't be a power hungry cpu and it will not be a hot cpu you know compared to the 7950x which needs you know a behemoth of a cpu cooler like a 360 millimeter cpu cooler in order to keep that beast down you know and the gaming performance itself is actually really good compared to the 3900k i mean on horizon zero dawn which is a gpu intensive game or a cpu gpu intensive game we're looking at a 25 percent higher performance but this is coming from amd well i haven't seen official benchmarks yet and this cpu goes for seven hundred dollars and here is the biggest catch in my opinion i mean this cpu is for around 150 dollars cheaper than the 3900k but you're actually getting what you're paying for you're getting around 25 or 10 to 25 percent more performance in gaming but here's the biggest catch what's the cpu to compete with the 3900k in terms of gaming performance i mean yeah the 7900 x3d it's supposed to go for $600. How is this going to compete with the 3900K since it will never bring the same CPU intensive uh, workloads related performance? I mean, the 7900X3D, so uh, focus here, the cheaper model will never be as good as the 3900K in the CPU intensive task. Of course, it will be better in gaming, maybe the same gaming performance of the 7950X3D, but it will never beat it. So it's kind of like a, a hard sale to make when it comes to the cheaper 3d v cache models uh, compared to the intel counterpart because you are actually sacrificing a lot compared to a pretty a diminishing gaming performance in my opinion it will not make that big of a difference you know once you're playing at 4k or 8k or these kind of stuff so yeah there's the biggest catch in my opinion i mean yeah you're not getting the same cpu intensive performance but these are the gaming cpus to get you know we're yet to see I i'm you know curious to see what will they provide but that's about it let me know what you think down in the comments below and these are my two cents basically and yeah press on that like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace